Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Is your iPhone screen disabled and displaying a message advising you to connect it to iTunes? This normally happens when you've used up all of your tries to enter your device's passcode. In this video, I will recommend two different methods that you can try to regain access to your iPhone. Let's go. First, you can use a simple and free tool that you can readily access on your computer. If you're on Windows, you'll need to use iTunes. In case you don't have it installed yet, I recommend downloading it directly from the Microsoft Store. For Mac users, you can easily restore your iPhone using the pre-installed Finder application. Once you have either app open on your computer, put your iPhone in recovery mode. Whether you are experiencing glitches with your iPhone, such as it being stuck in Apple logo, white screen, recovery mode, or other issues, entering recovery mode gives you the opportunity to resolve the problem so you can regain access to your device. To get started, connect your iPhone to your computer before entering recovery mode. Make sure to use an original or MFI certified cable to ensure a successful connection between the two devices. Once you've successfully connected to your computer, either open iTunes if you're on Windows or just use the pre-installed Finder application on your Mac. Also, see to it that both apps are updated to the latest version. To put your device into recovery mode, please take note that the combination keys are different for each iPhone model. For iPhone 8 or newer models, including iPhone SE second generation, follow these steps. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then hold press the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus models. Press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons and release them when the recovery mode screen appears. With iPhone 6S or earlier models, including iPhone SE first generation, press and hold both the home and top or side buttons at the same time. Keep holding them until the recovery mode screen is displayed. After you put your device on the recovery mode screen, click the Restore iPhone button in the iTunes or Finder. Keep in mind that this process will completely wipe your device and you will need to set it up again. After the reset, you should be able to easily restore your data on your iPhone, as long as you backed it up to your computer or iCloud account before restoring. Sometimes, restoring your device in iTunes or Finder may be ineffective and may not fix the problem on your iPhone. If this happens, you can try using a third-party application. If using iTunes or Finder doesn't solve the problem on your device due to their limited features, I recommend the third-party software iMyPhone LockWiper. LockWiper is specifically designed to unlock and remove iPhone and iPad passcode, Face ID, Apple ID, MDM lock, and screen time password. The program is available for both Mac and Windows PC. For your reference, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link in the description box below. Select the appropriate version compatible with your computer's operating system and click free download to try it. Please note that the trial version can only be used to verify if your device is supported or not. Otherwise, a premium subscription is required. For full access, you can choose between a one-time payment or a recurring subscription that you can cancel at any time. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install it on your computer. When the lock wiper dashboard loads, select the unlock screen passcode mode. If you're using iTunes, LockWiper may find your version inapplicable, so be sure to follow its prompt to repair the tool in order to proceed. After the repair, restart LockWiper and click Unlock Screen Passcode again. Please note that all data on your device will be erased after the removal process is completed. Your iOS or iPad OS will be updated to the latest version available. Next, connect your device to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. To get started, follow the on-screen instructions to download the firmware package required by the software. 
Once the firmware has been successfully downloaded and extracted, you will need to put your iPhone or iPad into recovery mode. Then, select the unlock button and follow the on-screen instructions to confirm the screen lock removal process. Make sure the device remains connected to your computer and do not use it for a while to avoid interrupting the program while it is working. When the removal is done, your device should reboot automatically and the screen passcode should be completely removed. If it doesn't work the first time, repeat the process on lock wiper until the screen passcode is erased. Although the program is guaranteed to remove your device's screen passcode, it will still be in activation lock and inaccessible until you provide the Apple ID credentials originally registered with your iPhone or iPad. If you can't remember your iCloud password or you're having other trouble with your device, try our YouTube search. There's probably a solution to any problem you're having. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.